Okay guys, so today what I'm going to do is show you how to install OpenELEC via USB. So part one here would be the making of the USB installer in Windows. So what we need to do is go to www.openelect.tv, go to Get OpenELEC and Downloads. Now this will take you to the download screen. This will vary on the devices, but the one I'm choosing is the most current version. So you need to click on the tar file. And once you've done that, you'll see at the bottom you're going to click save. Don't click open, click save. And once that's done, click open folder. Now here we have the tar file and what we need to do is we need to extract it. So either use your own program that you have or you can get one for free at the website below. I will also include this link below the video. So all you need to do is click it and it will take you there. Now I've extracted to my desktop. So what you're going to do is double click the folder. And then you're going to double click the create install stick.exe file. This will bring up the wizard. Once the wizard is up and running, you hit next and continue and make sure that your USB is plugged into your computer. This is where you select the drive and then next you would click install. As you can see it's now formatting the disk so make sure you didn't have anything important on that. I'll keep a warning down below and when it's done you click finish. Now, next up is installing it on your device. Now, first of all, turn off your box and insert the USB. Then what you're going to need to do is turn on the power, and if you have a NUC, you're going to press F10 repeatedly to enter the boot screen. Now, the proper button pushed to get into your boot will vary depending on your device. You're going to need to find that yourself. So once in the boot screen, you will choose your USB. This will take you to the installation wizard. So quick install OpenELEC TV, click OK. And when prompted, pick your drive. If you have more than one drive, you got to choose the one you want. Now to enable SSH, click Yes. And here's a warning to let you know it's going to be wiped out, but click Yes. Last chance, click yes. So now we'll be creating a file system for you and installing it onto your device. Now here what we need to do is hit reboot instead of OK. Otherwise it'll take you through the wizard again. So now here is the third and final part, the Open Elect wizard. Now on the first screen it's going to ask you to pick your regional settings. So if it's not English, what you need to do is click on the English button and then find what you need to find for you. And then you click Next. Now this is a screen where you can rename OpenELEC to anything you want. So all you have to do is click on the button where it says OpenELEC and you can change it to Living Room or wherever. Depending on how many devices, this is a really good idea to change them so you can tell which one is which. Here is where you're going to choose your internet connection. So you just click on it and click connect and type in your password. And now this screen, make sure these are enabled. It allows you to access your device remotely. And then you click next and this is the end of the wizard. And then you are completely done. So what you'll see is your open elect settings. This is where you, if you need to change stuff like your internet connection, you can do it here. And the wonderful thing about open elect is it comes with Kodi installed. So there you go guys. That's how to make an installer.